So I'll just randomly pick a chapter and start going through it. I'll try to, I'm reading it with a group at the moment. I do these book clubs. We're only at the beginning, so I'll pick a further chapter. So, Okay, we've got absolute perfection is here and now. Keep the mind silent and you shall discover. And there's one more good title in here as well. The unknown is home of the real. I think I'm going to go with keep the mind silent and you shall discover because of what we were talking about. So I'll just read, and then when I get to a point of feeling like I will stop, I will stop. So, questioner. Once I had a strange experience. I was not. Nor was the world. There was only light, within and without. An immense peace. This lasted for four days and then I returned to the everyday consciousness. Now I have a feeling that all I know is merely a scaffolding, a covering, hiding, the building under construction. The architect, the design, the plans, the purpose, nothing. I know. Some activity is going on. Things are happening. That is all I can say. I am that scaffolding. Something very flimsy and short-lived. When the building is ready, the scaffolding will be dismantled and removed. The I am and the what I am are of no importance because once the building is ready, the I will go as a matter, of course, leaving no question about itself to answer. Maharaj. Are you not aware of all this? Is not the fact of awareness the constant factor? Questioner. My sense of permanency, permanency and identity is due to memory, which is so... even something and unreliable. How little I remember even of the recent past I have lived a lifetime and now what is left with me? A bundle of events, at best a short story. Maharaji, all this takes place within your consciousness. Questioner, within and without, in daytime, within, in night, without. Consciousness is not all. So many things happen beyond its reach. To say that what I am not conscious of must, does not exist, is altogether wrong, Maharaji. What you say is logical, but actually you know only what is in your consciousness. What you claim exists outside of consciousness. Uh, what you claim exists outside conscious experience is inferred. Question. It may be inferred, and yet it is more real than the sensory. Maharaji, be careful. The moment you start talking, you create a verbal universe, a universe of words, ideas, concepts, and abstracts, interwoven and independent, most wonderfully generating, supporting, and explaining each other, and yet all without essence or substance, mere creations of the mind. Words create words. Reality is silent. He's a master, isn't he? He is a master. Maharaji. Be careful. I'm just going to repeat it because of its profundity. The moment you start talking, you create a verbal universe, a universe of words, ideas, concepts and abstractions, interwoven and independent, most wonderfully generating, supporting and explaining each other, 
and yet all without essence or substance, mere creations of the mind. Words create words, reality is silent. So what is it in this that's silent? Where is that silence? We don't need to find it because you is appearing in it. But there is this awakening that can happen back to a silence that is. Maharaji in the previous sentences was pointing to a consciousness. But in the end, consciousness becomes an idea. But the great thing about conscious te consciousness teachings is there is something that is witnessing everything now. And the way that that is known is because everything is being seen. So the character is being seen, the personal awareness is being seen, the room is being seen. So there must be something that's witnessing it which cannot be seen. And this witness is no thing, absolute silence, not in movement. And is everything that it's witnessing, everything it's conscious of. I mean, what can be more beautiful than that teaching? What can be more beautiful? What else could you want? Mind imagines it wants this or wants that. In the end, everything will return to dust but this. It will come and go. What did he call himself, the questioner? A short story. At best, it will be a short story. A bundle of events, at best, a short story. 